King Charles faces public backlash. Boos and giant placards greet his arrival in Milton Keynes. Welcome to our royal leaks, where we delve into the fascinating world of British monarchy. From royal weddings and scandals to the latest news and events, we've got it all covered. Join us as we take an in-depth look at the lives of the British royals and explore their impact on British society and culture. The leader of the country King Charles, known as the head of state, recently visited Milton Keynes. However, when he arrived, he was met with a group of people who were not happy to see him. They made their feelings known by shouting negative things and chanting against the idea of having a monarchy in the country. King Charles went to the Church of Christ the cornerstone in the city, but he had to deal with a small number of protesters who had come together to express their dissatisfaction. The group that organized the protest, called Republic, wants the people of the UK to be able to elect their head of state, instead of having a monarchy. Despite the hostile reception, the king remained calm and collected, even as people chanted not our king and held up bright yellow signs to voice their opposition. He was accompanied by his security detail, who ensured his safety during the protest. Instead of walking away, the monarch opted to walk to the fences where both the booing protesters and many cheering royal admirers were and commenced shaking hands and exchanging words with some of his supporters. The protesters were booing and the royal fans were cheering. It's not always easy to remain composed in the face of such opposition, but the king seemed unfazed by the protest. Perhaps he is used to receiving criticism from those who disagree with the idea of a monarchy or maybe he has learned to take such protests in stride. Whatever the reason, he kept a level head and continued on with his visit, demonstrating the poise and professionalism befitting of a monarch. After spending a few minutes with the audience that was waving the Union Jack, the king entered the area with a large smile on his face and headed inside the church to attend the reception that was attended by members of the local community, as well as authorities from the city of Milton Keynes. His Majesty also met with representatives from Starship Technologies while at the church. Starship Technologies is the company behind the first emission-free autonomous delivery service to be launched in the UK. The service involves robots delivering groceries and other goods to locations all over the city. In addition, Charles had the opportunity to present a commemorative plaque at the church, which had previously been visited in 1992 by his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. After stating on Wednesday that they were going to hold a protest, anti-monarchy activists began gathering in Milton Keynes at approximately lunchtime on Thursday. In a statement, a spokesman for Republic said the following in reference to the impending demonstration. Republic is worried about previous police harassment of peaceful demonstrators at royal events. We're determined to get the message across that it's ought to protest against the royals. Instead of a pointless coronation, we need a serious public debate. We believe the British public should be asked, do you want Charles or a choice? The tide is starting to turn against the monarchy and we need a serious debate about its future. That's all for today. Thank you for watching our video on the recent protest against the King's visit to Milton Keynes. We hope you found the information informative and insightful. The issue of whether the UK should continue with a monarchy or switch to an elected head of state is a topic that divides opinion. However, it's important to remember that everyone is entitled to their own beliefs and opinions, and peaceful protests are a vital part of a democratic society. We will continue to keep you updated on the latest developments related to the monarchy and related topics. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content and discussion. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.